Max under attack, Samsung leaks, popcorn time vulnerabilities, and surprise, the NSA wants to spy on you. Harder. I'm John P. Welcome to Geek Beat. Yesterday, a new OS X bug was revealed, which allows attackers to install malware on a Mac without needing any system passwords. Apple is saying they'll fix the bug as soon as possible. They're supposed to include a patch for the privilege escalation bug in the next security update for OS X, which is 10.10.5. Apple says they've also taken the precaution of blacklisting apps known to use the exploit. Of course, if you're like me and you've changed your security permissions to allow you to install apps from anywhere, you probably still screwed. Of course, this comes right on the heels of the announcement of a new undetectable worm that can target Mac firmware. A team of white hat hackers just announced the development of the world's first firmware worm that's vicious enough to break through Apple's security. Thunderstrike 2 can infect a Mac in just about any way you can imagine, and a few you can't. Insert a USB and, of course, you're done for. But even things like Ethernet adapters, keyboards, or many other peripherals can host the little worm, which, when inserted, will infect any computer. Once it's in there, it can't be removed unless you open up the box and manually reflash the chip. Oh, and did I mention, the worm can't be detected by any existing security software, so good luck with that. This worm is similar to the one that attacked Iran's nuclear refining plant a while back, and while I don't feel sorry for them, I would hate to hear about it doing something similar to, say, a nuclear reactor. Anyone remember Three Mile Island? Meanwhile, Samsung is dealing with some vulnerabilities of their own. The normally tight-lipped company has a leak. Next week in New York, it's been speculated that Samsung intends to launch the new Note 5, but photos and specs of the new device have already been allegedly leaked. Assuming they're real, the new Note appears to have a curve similar to what you see on the Galaxy S6 Edge. On the bottom of the smartphone is a different kind of S Pen slot that might just be spring-loaded. This phone is sticking with a micro USB and a speaker on the bottom along with a headphone jack. A leak on specs via N22 claims the smartphone will have a 5.7 inch screen, 4 gig of RAM, 32 gig of storage and an Exynos 7420 processor. I don't know, is that how you say it? Xenos, Exynos, why do they come up with such weird names? It probably also has the same 16 megapixel rear and 5 megapixel front camera setup that the X S6 carries. For you pirates out there using the illegal Popcorn Time app to watch every major new release movie before it even hits the shelves, guess what? You are not secure. I know it's a shocker. But the, the piracy app has a vulnerability that allows for man-in-the-middle attacks to take over and remotely control your entire computer. Of course, in order to do so, the hacker needs direct access to the network your machine is on, but let's just say don't piss off your system administrator. Actually, that's just a good rule in general. And in news you never thought you'd actually see, IBM is looking to provide Apple PCs for nearly half of its 380,000 person workforce. So not only did Apple make a huge dent in the PC space IBM was competing in, and which they eventually sold off in the form of Lenovo, but now IBM is poised to actually buy a lot of gear from their old competitor. The companies claim it's good for everyone because IBM employees are already using around 50,000 Macs, and the company's gotten pretty good at enterprise management something they'd like to sell to other enterprises. In the next couple of days, the U.S. Senate is likely to force a vote on the new bill called CISA. If you're not familiar with it, CISA basically allows more NSA spying, lets companies share your data like email, medical records, and purchases with 12 federal agencies plus local cops, and which cybersecurity experts say won't actually stop major hacks. It will just give them the dirt on everyday citizens. If you want to do something about it before it's too late, call 985-222-CISA. That's 985-222-CISA. And punch in your zip code. It'll connect, it'll connect you to both of your senators and you can let them have a piece of your mind. Well, that's it for today's show. I'll see you guys on the Geek Beat Slack chat. If you haven't joined yet, just go to geekbeat.tv forward slash Slack. Get a free invite. I'm John P. Thanks for watching.